going, everyone? I'm just one Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. <laughs> All right. So I guess we're on to lesson five. Good boy. The twins are back. Hello. Good to see you. We're about to begin the second half of lesson one. I thought we were on part five of lesson one, or lesson five or something. Let's quickly summarize what we've done so far. Uh, okay. I think I already know what we've done so far. <laughs> the red one survived, the blue one did not. As you just saw, we also made it so the runner breaks up when colliding with the tagger. Uh, sure. It's already enough for a game of tag, but don't we need to do it so when the tagger isn't it anymore, the runner can do the same thing? But it seems like the tagger is a little too strong, doesn't it? Right now, no way for the tiger to lose. That's not really fair. <laughs> How about if we make the things more interesting by adding some rolling balls to the level? What if the balls can destroy both the runner and the tiger? Oh boy, we get the balls in our level. Oh jeez. Okay. First, the rolling balls. We'll need a new type of node on. A launch object node on. Good. Okay. Ah, who's calling me? Uh, hi. You need me to throw things. Is that what you want? Whoa, okay. Alright, buddy. Calm down. Want me to help build your game? Is that it? Yeah! Okay, jeez. Wait. You're the game programmer, aren't you? Why didn't you say so? Of course I'll help. I love making stuff. Just tell me what you want. Introducing the launch object, Nodon. He's full of hot air and oh yeah, I can tell. Whoa, hello. Whoa, hello. Hello. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Ow. 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 <laughs> Ow. <laughs> That's exactly what the launch offered. No, okay. Balls might be a bit too big, no? Those balls are too big! They need to be smaller! Okay. Okay. Says that's slowly pushing my guy. I don't think it is. There you go. The balls are smaller now. All those like meatballs, I can just shove them in my mouth. Ah! <laughs> oh boy. Let's put an extra platform above our runner and tagger. Okay. To the programmer screen. All right. First, let the object node on. Copy. Um. Okay. Yes, brilliant. Only one. Okay. And then let me guess. Same thing. Move it over there and diagonal moving to the other way. Yeah. Okay. Why are we doing this? Now our tagger and runner have a little shelf. 
shelter from the torrent. To oh, okay. Hmm, I think the torrent is a bit too powerful right now. Walls aren't rolling right, are they? You can adjust the power over on the programmer screen. Okay. Launch speed to four. Okay, well that's boring. Well, now they're exploding on... Yeah. You, you, you're sure. I... At this point, I don't even... Launch interval to seven? Yeah, let's put it at 23, see how long that... Now the interval between each ball, each ball lasts with the extent of seven seconds. Okay. Okay, well there it is. Ah, there we go. That fix, we've got the balls rolling the way we want them to. Need some rolling balls over on the other side now. Okay, yeah, that's totally what I'm thinking. Let me guess, copy and paste and put it like right here, right? <sighs> yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Now our shower spheres come from both sides. There's still something we need to fix. See, our tiger isn't damaged with the ball. Nope. Let's fix it so the tiger breaks when the ball hits the program. Okay. Can't our tagger also get hit by this? Ow! Imagine the tagger pursuing the runner through a hail of tumbling walls. Oh, no, okay, no, the tagger can still destroy the runner. Okay. The drama, the peril. We've got the making of a truly thrilling contest. Not really. And let's see. Step five is clear, okay. Yeah, I know what we just did, thanks. Opening fire with the launch out on note on. Alice's guide. Alright, Alice, let's see what you got. Hi. Why are there blocks randomly moving to the side? Ever wondered how to launch objects? Uh, I mean, not really, but I guess. Mm -hmm. Wait. Yeah, it's me. Do you want something? Well, do you? Oh, calm down, dude. Want to know how to launch objects? Oh, is that all? Someone's got an attitude. Who, 
me. I'm a launch object node on. Why, who's asking? That the best job is to plug me down anywhere, and from there I just launch objects. Oh, yeah. Okay. You can change what I launch and how I launch it. In the settings screen. You know you want to try it. Um, not really. I'd rather play other people's levels than build my own. But I figured why not check this part out first since the game doesn't let you do anything else. And now they're both! Did you see it? Well, did you? The object that was launched was different, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. What next? Oh! Next, let's change the launch method. Up the speed. Okay. Settings. Where do we want it this time? 12. Well, okay, but... Falls are going faster than the speed of light! Yeah, no. I do wonder at what the fastest they actually can go is. Launch interval. Uh. Oh gosh. Alice is maniacal. So many balls. Um. Yeah, the projectiles that was hurting my brain, buddy. I. So this means it's being launched to the right. This means it'll be launched to the left. Up, diagonally right. I, I get it. Good luck getting through that wall. Did you like my firepower? Please say you did. Um, sure. You can change the shape of the object, the launch speed, and the launch interval as well. You can do your bespoke launchings. Bespoke! Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, jeez. Wait, what's wrong? Why are you making that face? Why? I know what you're thinking. Can't you launch with the button command instead of automatically? That's it, isn't it? A button note on. Where's our car? Anyway, that's up. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that's more like it. Pressing the button repeatedly will give you repeated launches, but it won't launch at a faster rate than the launch interval, so be aware. That was some nice button pressing. Do you believe me now? Did you see how easily I managed it? Were you entertained? Um, sure. Anyway, I hope you understand me better now. Which is to say that, from this day forth, you and I are friends! Friends! Did you hear me? Up? Okay, alright, alright, alright. Call me on me whenever you need anything launched. I'm free anytime. Um. What the hell? What? 
Okay. My brain hurts. So I'm gonna leave this here. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Game Builder Garage. I guess after we're done with let I don't know how many lessons we have to go through before we can actually check out the actual game part of the game. But, um... I don't know. We'll see how far we get before that happens. But either way, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you like this video, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really like to consider subscribing to the channel, have a suggestion for, um... I don't know. If you have a suggestion for a game you'd like to see on here, let us know in the comments below. There is one other obvious um, game that's kind of a level builder type game that we've done on here, Super Mario Maker 2. If you want to check out my playlist on that, click the link in the bottom right corner, or try and take you to that destination. Miss any of the stops on this right, click the link across right here, and then try and take you there. In the meantime, this straight out to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!